Money is very important. So this video, we are going to go through exchange rate. So changing money from one to the others. Okay, well, one of my favorite country is Japan. We always travel there. So there will be, I'm going to let you, we are going to change some money from those. So for every four Japanese yen, we can have change, you can have 0 0.3 HKD for now. All right, and then for every 25 HKD, that gives us 2 euro. All right, so this is the just the general, it's not the up-to-date rate there. So now, based on this rate, for now, based on this rate, uh, I'm going to travel. So I have, I need to have 10, uh, 100,000 yen. How much Hong Kong dollars will I get? I need to change that with 10,000 yen. So what we need to do is, this is the rate there. For every four, for every four Japanese yen, we got 0 0.3 Hong Kong dollars. So what we need to do is, we need to use our yen to, change, to divide by four to find out how many 0 0.3 there. For each of them, we can multiply by 0 0.3. That gives us the Hong Kong dollars. And then I will use my calculator to do it because the number is getting bigger now. Divided by 4 times 0 0.3. This gives us uh, $7,500. All right, so because we need to divide it by to find out how many 0 0.3, how many units there, and then for each of the unit, we have 0 0.3. All right, similarly, and what else? Now, a step forward. So with the 1,000 yen, if I want to change it to euro, that will be a bit annoying because they do not direct change. E U R O. Oh, that's very important. I write down the wrong one. So we need to have an uh, exchanging point, just like we take the bus or something, the subway, the trains or something. So we have to ch ch get the yen to Hong Kong, to euro. All right, because this is a connection there. So since we already got the $75, the $100 already, so we have for every $25, we got two euro. So we're moving on the second step. 75 come down. We have 75, uh, 7,500. This is HKD. So I need to divide it by 25 to find out how many chunk and each of them need two euro. Remember to multiply back. So divide it by 25 and then for each 25 dollar, Hong Kong dollars, we get two euro. So, what we get is 300 times 2 give us, this is not dollar now, this will become 600 euro. This is how the exchange rate, even it is two step, if it's more than one step, we need to change it. Uh, we need to have the intersection there. Hope this video has helped you with the exchange rate.